So we uh, we certainly do get treated in Blackpool um, to uh, all sorts of events and uh, festivities and festivals, you name it. Um, Blackpool um, most likely hosts it. Welcome back to a, a new video. So it's less than 24 hours before the air show starts. So we're gonna have a bit of a look around because there's a bit of a surprise waiting for us on the comedy carpet. So we're just near the, uh, the beach house. You can see a uh, apple tower. So the field might be a little bit shaky because it is really windy. And just look at that lollipop. Look how bent over that one is but anyway um, on a positive note we've got a real life plane real life size plane on the comedy carpet and, uh, so we did uh, a bit of a video because they've also got another one um, with some old uh, sort of, uh, sort of fuel refillers busters I think they call them boasters that's the one and uh, some of the jeeps and things that's in another video so if you haven't seen that one go and have a look at that one but uh, it's just off the comedy carpet, I believe. There's a, a real size plane, so let's uh, go and have a look at this one. And uh, just look at this, so the uh, the Royal Air Force. So, like I say, just off the uh, the comedy carpet. And uh, yeah, that's all in preparation for the uh, air show tomorrow, which is all going ahead. And uh, that'll be uh, it's over the weekend. So uh, if you haven't, um, if you don't know about it, or you haven't seen. Uh, the uh, what's happening and the order of flights and things um, it will be in the uh, in the description look at this one amazing so we uh, we certainly do get treated in Blackpool um, to uh, all sorts of events and uh, festivities and festivals you name it um, Blackpool um, most likely hosts it you see the comedy carpet quite busy for this uh, Friday afternoon So we're just going to have a, a bit of a walk towards Central Pier and uh, you can see, you know, for a Friday, so 2.30, um, it is actually quite, quite busy. The weather was a bit hit and miss, shall I say, this morning. It was threatening um, uh, sort of rain, but the, uh, but the sun has come through and just look at that sea. It's, uh, I always love um, this sea. I mean, just uh, so white. It's absolutely amazing when it's uh, when it's rough. It's nice and when it's calm. It's also uh, fantastic when it's rough. Tells a uh, tells a different story. And uh, directly in front is the uh, this real life size Spitfire and. Uh, the Bowser and the uh, the Jeep. So we did cover this. We got an exclusive inside. Um, so again, if you haven't seen this video, um, go and have a look. It's certainly worth uh, having a bit of a watch. And this is here all this week and the weekend. So we just hit Central Pier, and uh, there's a tragic, tragic accident a few days ago where uh, sadly a, a lady in her fifties fell through. Uh, is believed to be one of the uh, the trap doors and uh, she uh, she remains in hospital at present so I haven't got an update on her status but what a, what a tragic accident and yeah so we just uh, popped over to uh, to Central Pier because a lot of people have been asking is it open is it closed and it looks like um, the main pier itself is closed you can see nothing's going on no rise and it's actually boarded up still um, however We'll just whip the uh, the camera around because the only part of the pier uh, which is open is like the arcades and the little shops at the front so that does remain open but the actual main pier um, remains closed so we're just about a hundred yards 150 yards past central pier heading towards south pier and there's uh, that prime burger so if you're here tomorrow for the air show um, you can actually feed the family for a pound a burger, which is incredible. Um, there's also Chris Higgins, he's a pound. And also there's an arcade as well, which I'll uh, show you later in the video, um, just for a pound. So it's uh, an amazing, uh, cheap lunch out. 
So you can see right in the distance is uh, South Pier, which is the, uh, the furthest pier um, south. But we're not going to uh, go there today because uh, it's uh, more or less about the uh, the air show and what's uh, what's happening, the preparations you need to make. You see the big one right in the very distance, uh, which is uh, which is all open. So I'm not too sure if we'll be opening with this uh, wind. It's 25 mile an hour winds today, so the camera might be a little bit shaky. But yeah, so I'd uh, show you at South Pier in the distance and we was going to cover um, some of the uh, planes coming in but I think that's uh, a little bit later on about five-ish they'll start landing at Blackpool Airport so we'll, we'll head back um, a bit more towards the uh, the north side and uh, just see if there's anything else going on today and also uh, like I said I'll mention um, and show you the best places to park I think um, Stephen might have mentioned it as well in one of his videos walk on the wild side but also there's some other other places you can park which is free so I'll bring that one uh, a bit later in the video uh, and this is the uh, the lollipops these are the uh, the three what together and you can see the uh, bent over in that 45 degree position with the uh, with the wind today and uh, you can see the uh, Odyssey is now opened up in the middle so that was all um, caged off before and now it's uh, opened up so uh, the public can walk through so I'd imagine they might have done that because of the uh, the air show tomorrow and again you can see the uh, the iconic tower always uh, standing proud in Blackpool so again you got all the uh, the fun fair sea life you got the amusements coral island you got all sorts um, along the promenade so if you uh, you are thinking about coming to the air show tomorrow you got so many attractions uh, and so much to do so in regards to the parking like I said I will uh, mention that towards the end of the video because it's literally you know that's a 15 minute walk and you can save yourself a small fortune you know sort of parking I'd imagine it's sort of like £10 upwards um, for, uh, for most of the day so if you prepare to have a sort of 15 minute walk that's like uh, possibly you know your, your lunch paid for so we're going to have a bit of a, a, bit of a walk further along um, near North Pier and uh, just see what else is uh, going on on this uh, really nice Friday afternoon just having a walk a bit near the uh, the tram tracks and the reason being is because there's a, a fairly new amusement um, so it's been open six months a year it's called Blackpool Amusements and again um, it's right on the front and they are doing those um, those pound burgers and you get like a hot dog fries things like that and again you know it's uh, it's, it's upstairs the cafe little cafe it's upstairs so they've got little slots and things so I'd imagine that's probably how sort of the, the tempt you in. It's about a 10 minute wait, so we did try the uh, the burgers um, and the hot dogs in there. Like I said, it's just uh, right opposite. We did try there, and the food wasn't actually too bad. Um, it's about a sort of 10 minute wait, but um, there is entertainment um, for the kids, and that's upstairs. So again, if you're down for, uh, for the weekend, that's another one um, to go into. So yeah, we're, uh, we're probably going to end the video soon. It's just a bit of an update, because I just spotted that, um, that plane on the way back. And I thought I'd uh, just bring that as well. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll show you where to park um, just before we, uh, we end the video. And we've got Papa's Fish and Chips. So I'm not going to give it a positive. I'm not going to give it a negative feedback, because I personally haven't tried it. Um, so this one has got a, a sort of mixed bag of reviews put it that way um, so it's yeah I mean um, the pricing isn't too bad it's uh, like I said it's a bit of a mixed bag um, but yeah there's, uh, that's just off the uh, the prom as well so again another one also there's tower fisheries there's many fish and chip shops and food shops um, around Blackpool so I think we're gonna we're gonna finish the video here because it is actually getting quite windy um, but this one, the North Pier, uh, was voted your favourite in a poll um, I recently put up. So yeah, it is, a, it is something special, this one. And it is the oldest uh, of all three piers. So yeah, like I said, I'll, Waldo, I'll put the, uh, in the, um, at the end of this one, I'm going to pop the, uh, uh, 
uh, where the best place I think to park so if you are coming down it might help you out um, so I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you have hit that subscribe button hit the like button um, and until next time take care and if you are down for the uh, the air show have a fabulous time and it's uh, it's a bye from me take care bye bye